This video is brought to you by Production Crate. You want to make cool videos? Production Crate has everything you need, from magic powers, special effects, to explosions, and more, plus sound effects and royalty-free music. I'm using some of their stuff in the video you're about to watch, so click the link in the description below and get started today. Now, on to today's episode. For decades, believers have been searching for the mythical creature known as Bigfoot. Now, one man and his ragtag team of explorers have found him. Tonight, you will see with your very eyes conclusive proof that Bigfoot is real. So have a clean pair of underwear on hand. This is Bigfoot Myth No More. I've always believed in Bigfoot. Gunther Tripdale grew up in a small rural town in Mississippi. I used to go out in the forest and explore. I'd find frogs, snakes, all kinds of critters. I was always excited to find something new. As a child, Gunther wanted to be a policeman when he grew up, but that all changed on that fateful day. It was a Wednesday. I saw something on TV about a, a big hairy man. They had a picture of him, but it wasn't a good picture at all. They called him Bigfoot. I knew right there that I had to find him. Gunther has been searching ever since, traveling anywhere sightings have occurred. I would go to the ends of the earth with Gunther. Gunther's closest friend is Jim Falson who now has a Ph.D. in Bigfoot studies. It's sad that people think Bigfoot believers are crazy. He's out there, folks. We have pictures and videos. He's real! He's walking among us! Gunther and Jim have been working together for 20 years. As they explore in the wild, Gunther would lead while Jim would film the excursion. Tonight, we will join them as they search for the infamous Harry Walker. Here we are out in the wild, and I've got everything I need. My hat, binoculars, and water. Now, let's look around. Look around here. I've seen Bigfoot in these parts many times, and so let's see if we can find him today. Gunther is a master at finding Bigfoot. Don't ask me how, but he is a gift. He is BSP, Bigfoot Sensory Perception. I don't believe it. Look. You know what that is? I've seen it many times, and, and, and I've collected a whole bunch of it. That is Bigfoot fur. So Bigfoot must be close. Let's, let's look around. We've gotten a lot of pictures of Bigfoot over the years, but some people say, those are doctored up. Those are fake. Those are just pictures of a bear. I just laugh because they're stupid. But at the same time, that's why we want to show you video evidence. Something is rustling behind those bushes! Quick! There must be Bigfoot! Daddy, daddy, daddy. Just a couple girls playing patty cake. Hey girls, have you seen Bigfoot around here? Unless you play patty cake with us. Oh, the things I have to do. <laughs> All right. Patty cake, patty cake, bake, 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 Gunther and Jim are undeterred. They know that Bigfoot is out there somewhere, walking around, enjoying life. In this line of work, you can't give up. We believe in the big guy. We've seen him many times. Why, why once he walked right up to me and said, Hello, human man. I, I freaked out. I, I tried to get a picture of him, but he was too close. He said to us, Yellow roomy van. Not sure what he meant by that, but Bigfoot probably has his own language. Here we are outside again looking for Bigfoot. Uh, he likes to roam around these parts and so uh, I can feel it in my bones. 
We're gonna find him today. Let's go. Some people ask me, what are you looking for out there? Absolutely anything. Any evidence for Bigfoot, no matter how small. Look, look, it's a footprint. Now I know what you're thinking. That's a shoe footprint. True. But Bigfoot has been known to put on shoes when he finds them lying around. This is definitely Bigfoot. People seem to forget that Bigfoot is a person too. He's been known to find things and put them on. Why, we saw him once wearing a sweater. So why not shoes? Now it's pointing in this direction. So let's go head that way, come on. Bigfoot must be right behind those trees. Oh, oh you startled me. <laughs> How did you know I was out here? <laughs> hey, old man, have you seen Bigfoot? Bigfoot? <laughs> yeah, he was chasing the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Why, you? Hey, what are you doing out here anyway? Uh, I was just, you know, going for a walk. <laughs> you haven't seen the police lately, have you? The police? No. Why? No reason. <laughs> what a nut. Gunther and Jim have come up empty once again. Some days are like that. We've had some days where we hit the jackpot and we get so many wonderful, clear pictures of Bigfoot. But those pictures deserve to be in a museum. I'm very proud of them. Now Bigfoot, he shouldn't be in a museum, but he deserves to be respected. We love you, Bigfoot. Despite two failed attempts, Gunther and Jim hit the trail again, their faith in the big guy unwavering. I hope you're excited because we're going to find him today. And when we find him, we're going to be the very first people to interview him. So let's go. The search continues. The men work tirelessly to find any kind of clue. They refuse to go home empty again. And then, Gunther finds something. Something that could be life changing. Look! It's poop! This is no ordinary poop. It's Bigfoot poop. Oh, believe me, I know. I've tasted it many times. It has a distinctive taste and an interesting flavor and an undeniable scent. I would take it home, but I've already got some. So, uh, it's fresh poop, too. Bigfoot must be close. Where is he? Oh, I hear, I hear some rustling in those bushes. Look, it's gotta be him. Bigfoot. This is the risk you take when you're looking for Bigfoot. At least it wasn't a mountain lion. I would have been toast, but Jim threw some beef jerky at it. Oh, oh. As I was running, I grabbed some beef jerky. Tense situations make me hungry. I, I threw some at the bear and we got lucky. He stopped mauling Gunther and went and sniffed the beef jerky so we were able to get away. Bigfoot has proven to be more elusive than the Loch Ness Monster. And yet Gunther Tripdale and Jim Falson refuse to give up. They want the whole world to believe Bigfoot exists. According to Gunther, they already have the proof. We already have conclusive proof. Bigfoot fur, Bigfoot shoe footprint, and Bigfoot poop. What more do you need? Scott Jefferson agrees. Jefferson is a Bigfoot researcher who has traveled the globe in search of evidence for the big guy. Gutha Tripdale has done phenomenal work on Bigfoot. His discovery of Bigfoot poop is perhaps the most compelling evidence we have that Bigfoot is real. It's different from any kind of poop I've ever seen. And, uh, I've seen a lot of poop. It's a compelling argument, but there will still be naysayers. 
I suppose in the end, you'll just have to make up your own mind. Bigfoot, a myth or a man? You decide. <laughs> Hello, Bigfoot here. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, share it with your friends. You know what? Uh, been walking around, people don't seem to get any good pictures of me. I don't know why. I walk around, I have a good time, good exercise. They still can't even get good pictures of me. So I'm going to travel up north to Canada. Maybe they'll get some good pictures of me up there. Bye.